Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika, aka Miss Magic, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to detangle 4C hair on a tender-headed child, basically using no detangler. As you see, her hair is combed through, no fuss, no muss, no crying, no ouches, nothing. But I'm going to show you an easy method. Right, uh, but first, if you are new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video, and go ahead and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. All right, so if you're interested, let's get started. All right, guys, so basically dealing with a tender-headed child, finger detangling is your best friend. Do not go straight in with a comb. Always use your fingers, and parting in sections is key. All right, so you're gonna separate that back section into four equal parts. I've already done two, uh, top and bottom, and we're gonna do twists. And actually, twists are very good because it actually helps in the detangling process, and I will show you. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that other side, and we're gonna separate that with our fingers and our wide tooth comb, which you also need. Never use a, uh, a small tooth comb. Always use a big, fat, wide tooth comb when dealing with a tender-headed child. So as you see, I am finger detangling into uh, two sections and we're going to grab the hair and then that allows you by grabbing the hair that actually presents a barrier from the child and her actual hair that you're combing and she won't, she won't feel a thing. She will not feel you combing her hair. So you're going to go ahead and detangle that out and what you're going to do is you're going to separate uh, these this section right here into two and just twist it up. With your but see as you see she can't feel a thing separate it in two with your fingers and just go ahead and proceed to twist it up now while you are twisting go ahead and twist maybe two sections one two and then start taking your fingers and detangle through the two parts with your thumbs as you see what I'm doing see how I'm taking my finger she can't feel that because we built the barrier with the twist so go ahead and detangle that with your finger and take it all the way down and once you've twist that all the way up secure it with a clip guys you're gonna need a lot of clips bobby pins or whatever you need to pin it up as you see I got about six clips in her hair but this is what you need you have to work in small sections when you are dealing with a tender-headed child and go ahead and clip that up and then we're going to go ahead into the next section and do the same thing. You're going to take it, grip it so you can build that barrier. And then go ahead and comb from the ends. Always start at the ends. Once you comb the ends out, you can use your uh, wide tooth comb. Don't, don't start combing from the top, as I said. No, no, no. Just comb from the ends. And then you can work your way as long as you build that barrier and she cannot fill it. Go ahead, take it into two sections and twist it up just like I did the other part finger detangling as you go with your thumbs as you see each part she can't feel it because you built up that barrier with those twists notice she's not she can't feel a thing and I trust me guys this child right here is super tender-headed I told her mother that she was so much better today she said for you and that's why I actually am making this video because mothers need to know you can do it too at home. It's a certain way to do it. And your child will trust you and she won't be crying and she won't be ouching. Okay, so we're pinning that up. And we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the section. And then I will come back after it is all uh, twisted up and I will show you the correct way to blow dry it. You can let it air dry if you want after this, but I will use more twists than what I'm using. But I'm going to show you how to blow dry it in just a minute.
All right, guys, so her hair is all sectioned off, and now we're going to start with our first second section to blow dry. So we're going to take it down, and you just go ahead and take it down with your fingers. Like I said, finger detangling is key as far as going through it as you take it down. And this is a major uh, step, too. As you take your blow dryer, people, make sure you have a blow dryer with a comb attachment. This is key for detangling a child's hair. So I'm going to go ahead and spray some heat protectant in her hair. Of your, You can spray, use any heat protectant of your choice. Go ahead and grab that hair and go ahead and uh, comb it with your big tooth comb, your wide tooth comb. Always hold the hair, give it a little attention while you are combing it with the wide tooth comb. Just a little bit, see how I'm just raking through it a little bit to make sure there's no tangles in there. And then we can go ahead and grab our blow dryer. Once again, like I said, please make sure you have a blow dryer with a comb attachment. And when you start blow drying, you're going to keep the hair stretched with your hands, a little tension. Turn your blow dryer on, I have it on uh, medium heat. And go ahead and stretch it with the medium heat before you start going in. And once you go in, it is important to start at the ends. Get the ends dry. It makes it so much easier when you are uh, detangling. So we're going to go ahead and blow dry it from the ends to the roots. And you just slowly work your way up to the top. Slowly work your way up to the top. Um, because she is in the salon, I haven't let her hair dry a little bit. But if you have a child and you're doing this, you can let it dry a little bit. But do not let it dry all the way. Do not let your child's hair dry all the way before you blow dry because you want a little moisture in there that will help you with the detangling. So don't let her sleep overnight with the twists or braids in her hair. I don't recommend braids. Twists are easier because braids get all kinkily and it's hard to uh, get the hair straight when you braid their hair. So I, that's why I recommend plaiting it in twists before you blow dry. And as you see, I am all the way at the top. And you're going to take your blow dryer and your fingers and you're going to just take your fingers through her hair to make sure there are no, see how I'm raking with my fingers? Make sure there are no kinks in there at that top. If there is, turn the blow dry off and go through her hair with your fingers to make sure you get all of the tangles out. And then turn the blow dry back on and continue to blow dry. But as you see, I've gotten through the first section. No ouches, no crying, no screams, nothing because she basically can't feel it. So, um... That is definitely the, this is a fail proof method that I've been using for years and years and years. And um, I haven't met a child that I can't tackle yet. All right, so once we are satisfied with our first section is combed through, we're going to go ahead and get started on the second side, and we're going to do the same exact thing. I will explain it one more time. You're going to take your twist down with your fingers just like that and then go ahead stretch it and start combing from the ends to get all of the little tangles out make sure you grab the hair so that you can uh, create a barrier in between so she cannot fill it and then you're going to just go right into blow drying this section once again go ahead give the hair a little tension and stretch with the blow dryer just medium uh, high heat you're going to stretch it a little bit, which will let it dry, and it's actually helping to detangle. And then just start right on in those ends again. And just like that, you're going to dry, dry, dry all the way up, grabbing the hair as you go along to uh, get the tension that you need. to the I'm sorry, not the tension, the barrier in between so she cannot fill it. Now, I will say, when you're getting those little nape uh, hairs, um... Go ahead and turn the blow dry on cool and get those little nape hairs the best way you can because uh, you're going to get a little ouch. But what I always tell my clients is, let me just get these little baby hairs in the back. It's going to hurt a little bit, but after that, we're done. So uh, we know what I'm talking about, that hair underneath that uh, uh, nape, the little, you know, cock I, I call them cockabugs. But that part right there, I mean, I haven't invented anything where... They're not going to jump on that one. But like I said, go ahead. Finger detangle, finger detangle. I'm almost through with the back. See how I take that? I felt a little kink in there because she was kind of like uh, wincing. So there was like a little kink in there. So I did it with my finger. Then you go back in with your blow dryer. And basically that's it all the way up until you are 
done. And then you're going to rinse and repeat with the whole head. And I don't literally mean rinse like you're not going to wet it. Y'all know what I mean. Rinse and repeat. Just keep doing that all over her head. Alright guys, so this is her hair all blow dried out, detangled, no ouch, no cries. We got it all the way through. As you see, I can comb through easily with a wide tooth comb. And actually, when um, you use a small tooth comb, you should be able to do the same thing. It should be detangled. She shouldn't have any ouches. And I promise you guys, if you go ahead and practice this method, your wash day with your child will be easy and fancy free. So now I'm just going to uh, press her hair out and give her some ponytails. And I'm going to send this little young lady on her way. Oh, I actually clipped her ends as well. So because they were kind of raggedy. I suggest you clipping your children's hair eight to every eight to ten weeks, sometimes six to eight. All right. So, guys, thank you for watching. Go ahead. Hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video video um i want to thank you guys again for watching go ahead look at some of my other videos and i hope to see you again love you guys bye